morning. I feel like a straight up influencer right now. There's a waterfall down here. Just to stand on this log, but doing it for the people. So it is, what time is it, Steph? It's 6.20 in the morning and Stephanie wants some coffee. Some coffee. So we're gonna make coffee in the dark. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. So, I'm at Samuel Taylor Park, Samuel B. Taylor Park. Um, I think you can hear someone's generator in the background. But other than the generator right now, it's actually been really peaceful and quiet here. Beautiful waterfall uh, in the uh, place we're in, which is the Orchard Loop section. Um, I'll put some footage of that. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to take our dogs. We're going to take them on a little walk around. Um, the place is definitely, if you're looking for a place that feels like you're deep in the woods, but you're really not, this is the perfect place for you. Which means, by my description, it would be the perfect place for kids. Uh, because you're in the woods, you're in the middle of the woods, but it's a very not primitive campground. And uh, kids would love this place, parents would love it because kids could, well, they could wander around and stay within eyesight no matter where they go. There's a couple shots. Just to kind of show you what we're working with. So here's our campsite, campsite 38. Got a cool old stove, bench, fire pit, and a little cabinet storage. And then the river is just right down there. And then you just got these thick woods and there's a little trail that you can, it's not really, it's more like a game trail more than anything, but you can kind of follow it down. I had to chase my dog down it when he got away. So as you can see, this place is dog friendly. I've got Willow right here, um, and Asher, who's growling at the garbage people. Uh, but yeah, it's dog friendly. You just gotta keep them off the little trails and stuff around the campsite. There's so much to do around here. Um, the campsite's really cool, and it's a great you know little walking loop. But also, there's a million trails around here. Beautiful scenic pullover spots for when you travel up here. All right, so I forgot I had a map. Here's where you'll come in. You're going to come along this road if you're coming from Sac from Sacramento or San Francisco. Take it right down here. you got to check in right here. This is Azalea, which is closed right now. The little loop. Here's a little trail you can take. So you're going to drive past that. You're going to go across this little bridge right here. Take a right. There's bathrooms and stuff. Take a left into here. Here's our loop, Orchard Hill. And there's a little river right here. So we're campsite 38, we're right there. I recommend this spot. I chose it because it's the most secluded I could find, other than maybe 44, but I still think 38 is more secluded. This one's creek side, so the creek that I was talking about must cut right through that. Um, but yeah, I recommend it. Here's a North Creek Trail up here. We can't do them because we have the dogs, otherwise we would do a trail this morning.